Yeah, Steve, we've taken a front row seat to the reckoning over teacher pay in the last year, particularly, of course, over in Durham, where that pay crisis really overshadowed the second half of the school year. But here in Wake County, too, there's been a real push to improve working conditions and pay for teachers in the last few months. And even with these state raises now set to kick in, educators we spoke with say this is just the beginning. We know what we deserve and we don't feel respected. Elliot Brody's been with Wake County Public Schools for a decade. When I first got into Wake County, it was an extremely competitive county to get a job in. Um, if you go to a job fair, there was people flowing out of the building. Resumes were stacked up real high in front of everybody's tables. Now um, it's slim pickings. Even with some help now coming in the form of state approved 3% raises, the school counselor at Banks Road Elementary says the last few years have been tough on morale and he's seen many of his colleagues step away. They're irreplaceable. If you take a veteran teacher out of their, their position, um, you can't replace them with just someone off the streets. It's not that type of profession. Teacher pay has been front and center in the triangle, especially in the last six months, as that pay crisis embroiled Durham Public Schools, spurring walkouts and the resignation of Superintendent Pascal Mabenga. Durham County passed a new budget last month that increased funding for DPS by over $20 million. In Wake County, dozens of public school employees rallied for better pay at a budget meeting in late May before county commissioners approved a more than $58 million increase in funding for Wake Schools. But the head of Wake County's teachers union says the onus shouldn't be on them. The General Assembly needs to do the right thing. It's their constitutional mandate to fully fund public schools all across the state. Um, and that's why locals have this burden of sort of passing as much money as possible to fund public schools. Governor Cooper's signature on Senate Bill 332 officially authorized the modest state raises approved by lawmakers last year. In a statement, Cooper saying, quote, the legislature should pay our teachers significantly more as North Carolina has already dropped to 38th in the country in teacher pay and invests nearly $5,000 less per student than the national average. Our state has the resources to make meaningful investments to help our public school students, and now is the time to do it. Well, it's not clear exactly when those raises, those 3% raises will actually hit the bank accounts of teachers, but they will be retroactive with back pay to July 1st. For most teachers, we're talking about raises in the one to $3,000 a year range. And Spears says that's really the reason that there's been such a push at the local level to help keep up with rising costs of living in places like Raleigh and Durham. We're live in Raleigh. Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.